How's it going everyone? Mitch here with another Logic Pro 9 tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to be talking about rap vocals and how to produce them or how I would produce them and then also give you a couple tricks along the way as to you know just producing regular vocals stuff you can do. Alright so let's get right into it. This song is by a awesome dude from Australia. He is called New Flows and he was nice enough to give me his verse this verse um, to me to do this tutorial on so shout outs to him. Alright so let's hear what this track sounds like dry without any effects or anything on it. Rack city, stacks on stacks, rolling in my city, black on black. You I don't pity. That's a. All right, so uh, very dry. This is just going to be right out of uh, recording, and this is what it's going to sound like. All right. So let's get right into it. One of the the two first things you're going to want to do is EQ and compression on the normal track, and you can see I have those here. So I'm going to turn those on and open those up. Uh, in my vocals, I have a low cut and a high cut. The reason for me boosting at 3.5 hertz, uh, 3.5 kilohertz, is because it's vocals. Most vocals are going to be boosted around that region. Um, but with rap vocals, there are some lower frequencies that uh, their their presences do show up a little bit more. And as you can see, I account for those. I boost a couple more frequencies in the lower end. And uh, honestly, this is going to be something that is original to the singer. You're going to have to EQ how the singer sounds like and although this might be a good template you need to go in and do it yourself. And That's going to be true for any of the settings that I show you in this video. Alright so uh, the reason I am cutting around 200 a little bit is because 200 is around where like a lot of the snares, um, claps, percussion likes to fall and also I don't like that uh, that frequency for vocals in general. It just is an annoying frequency to me. So I like cutting it a little bit. Alright, so there we are. That's what my EQ is going to look like for my vocals. As for my compression, I'm going to have a ratio of 2 to 1. And my attack and release are going to be fairly small. And uh, if we play the track here, my compression, or my, uh, sorry, my reduction is going to be around 6 decibels. Uh, so let's check and see if that's still what's going on. It's a fact on fact and I'm only 21. Call it blackjack. So you can see that the reduction's floating around 6 decibels of reduction. And so on my gain section of this compressor, I'm going to be adding back in 6 decibels. And basically, I just edited the threshold to get down to 6 decibels. Um, this is a slightly lower um, compression than other vocals and you can definitely start uh, go up and have the reduction float around 8 or 10 even uh, but this is actually personal preference uh, it doesn't add too much especially when we're going to be doing a bunch of compressing and parallel compression in the post-production here so um, that's that alright another thing is uh, Actually, let me just do it before and after for just the EQ and compression, because it does. Just these two plugins make a huge difference. So let's do the before and after. Rack city, stacks on stacks, rolling in my city, black on black. You I don't pity. That's a fact on fact. So you can definitely tell that there. It, it just makes the sound a little bit nicer, rounder. It just sounds a little bit more full, and that's exactly what we're going for. All right. And so another plugin that I actually don't use very often, but in rap especially it does play a huge role is the exciter um, it's a very simple plugin and just has the frequency a color uh, color one and color two harmonics and the input button and basically I'll actually just play the track and mess with some of these settings and show you exactly what this plugin does right back then I'm only 21 call it blackjack messing with my dream I'm a go bipolar I can take the heat anywhere solar hold up wait I'm feeling like I'm fly great with a sick all right so I, I feel like my the frequency that I like to have it around is 4.4 Hertz or 4.4 kilohertz, sorry, I'm always forgetting that, but um, it does add a little bit more brightness and makes those makes those vocals stand out just a little bit more. So let's do a before and after of this plugin because this makes a huge difference. Flow, yeah, that's how I'm described. All of y'all fools, you were acting so rude, but now I came up and you so it just clarifies and brightens that those vocals up a little bit more. All right, so as you can see in my track, I am going to be bussing it out to an FX bus at zero decibels, which means I'm just sending all of the volume of that track to 
uh, a certain auxiliary track and that auxiliary track is going to be sitting right here. I'm going to have that panned hard left and then the output of my track is going to be sent to bus 11 and it's going to be this auxiliary track and it's going to be panned hard right. So what this does is it creates two channels and those two channels are both sides of my ears. All right, which is cool because then if I wanted to, I could EQ different mixes in both ears to make uh, just it um, stand out a little bit more, uh, make the both ears. If you if you have two channels and you EQ them differently, it does make it stand out a little bit more and gives it a little bit more of a, uh, I don't know. It, you can definitely do some really cool things with it. So if you want to, that's why I have these EQs here. Obviously, I haven't done anything to them. Uh, they're just flat, so... Uh, you can definitely go in and play with that as much as you want. If you have watched my vocal fattening tutorial, I do this exact same trick where I put two pitch shifters and put the semitones to zero, but I put the sense positive and negative the same amount. And I'm just going to have those on opposite. On stereo left, I'm going to have it sense plus four. And stereo right, I'm going to have it minus four. And then I make, just make sure the mix is at 100%. And so let me do a before and after of what this does because it... Uh, really boosts these vocals and makes them look really fat. So let's do this. You acting so cool like nothing ever happened. That was nothing that one rapping kill the fucking big boy. I'll just leave it in a casket. So that seriously does uh, widen those vocals a little bit more and make it a lot better to listen to. So definitely play around and use that as much as you'd like. All right, and then on these two tracks, I have them sent to a bus 13. My bus 13 is going to be my delay. Uh, with rap vocals, you there is an option to put a very, very uh, short echo on these vocals and have it sound pretty cool. Uh, and also what I do is I EQ out. I almost put a filter on it, um, and that's what my filter looks like. And so, and then the echo is just going to be a or the delay is just going to be an echo and I have my, the time as the shortest time possible. I have the color at zero because obviously I'm using the uh, channel EQ to EQ my mix. I don't want anything messing with that, especially the color because the color does mess with the EQ a little bit. Dry is going to be zero and wet's going to be 100%. If you are using uh, effect effect buses, you're bussing out those effects, make sure that your dry is going to be at zero and your wet's always at 100. That's the same for reverb as well. Alright, so let's do a before and after on the uh, delay. Rack city, stacks on stacks, rolling in my city, black on black, you I don't pity, that's a fact on fact. So there's a slight uh, delay on that and like almost a, a quick slap echo and uh, that does bring it out a little bit more. You can also put some reverb on it uh, and for reverb I'm going to be using the Space Designer. You should always be using the re uh, Space Designer reverb. There's nothing better in, inside of Logic. In small spaces I'm going to go to plate reverbs. Plate reverbs are going to be the best for vocals in general. Um, I'm going to have the 1.3 second plate. Uh, quick tip here guys, very long delays set your track back into the mix, back into the song. Short delays, bring it out. It um, almost makes it, put it out in front of the mix. Um, and then also, the amount of reverb that you put on the track does the exact same thing. If you put a lot of reverb, it'll set back into your mix. If you put um, not very much reverb, it'll set right out in front of it. So uh, depending on what you want to do is how much reverb and what kind of reverb you want to do on that. So since I want these vocals standing right out in front of my mix, I put it on uh, 1.3 seconds, which is a fairly small reverb. And uh, then I send not too much. Let's see what I send. I send negative 21.5 decibels to my delay on the both stereo left and stereo right. All right, so let's hear what the before and after of what this sounds like. Rack city, stacks on stacks, rolling in my city, black on black. You I don't pity, that's a fact on fact. All right, so it just adds a little bit more uh, dimension to the vocals. So that's exactly what we need. All right, and at this point, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be putting a parallel... Um, I'm going to do parallel compression on these tracks, all right? And if you haven't seen my parallel compression video, I'm going to link you to that because it is uh, quite uh, an expansive subject. So I'm not going to be talking about all of that, but uh, that's what these bus 16s are going to be. Um, they're going to be sending it to the parallel compression, all right? And then uh, the output of this track these, both of these tracks are going to be bus 17, which is the uh, master track 
the track that is just going to have the dry mix without the heavy compression on it. All right, so go check out that video if you'd like to learn how to do these properly. I will do a before and after on what this does sound like though. All right, this is a uh, before. Rack City stacks on. Sorry, this is a before. Rack City stacks on stacks, rolling in my city, black on black. You I don't pity, that's a fact. So it just brings out a little bit of the uh, undertones, the, the subtleties in the vocals. It will just push those out a little bit more and make it a little bit thicker. That's the word I'm going to use, right? And what you can do is, at this point, I would say this is a good point to be saying we're about done, all right? You can do a couple other things. And by a couple other things, I mean put make these vocals sit across the stereo spectrum a little bit better. And to do that... I'm going to turn this on. Basically, the whole idea, the whole concept of what I'm going to be doing with this directional mixer is I'm going to be pushing the heavy compressed parallel compression to the outsides of the stereo spectrum and the normal file or the normal volume or the, the, the dry signal is going to be sitting right in the middle. All right, so it's going to be parallel compression on the outsides and regular in the middle. And what this does is it just creates more of that thickness, that layering that uh, is exactly what we want in these vocals. So uh, the before and after is just going to be so subtle you're not going to be able to tell if you don't have nice studio headphones and uh, obviously YouTube volume's not going to be that great, so our YouTube sound isn't going to be that great, so I'm not even going to do a before and after on that. But what I am going to do is give you a couple options of extra things you could be doing. Um, and extra things is maybe some distortion. Um, a couple of plugins I'd really do like for distortion is the overdrive plugin and the clip distortion plugin. So uh, these are the settings on both of those that I have. You can check those out and uh, just copy those, pause this video. Um, but I'm going to do a before and after of both of these together, and uh, it's gonna be pretty awesome. So check this out. Oh yeah, that's how I'm described. All of y'all fools, you were acting so rude, but now I came up and you acting so cool, like nothing ever happened. I was nothing. Now I'm rapping, kill the fucking beat, boy. I'll just leave it in the casket. Blasting jab, test me if you can. Feeling so high, never think I will land. Cash, money, few. So it does bring out a, a different effect, and uh, there's some uh, rappers out there that actually put overdrive and distortion on their tracks and that's their signature sound so you can definitely go in and do that as well so everyone thanks for watching that's all I really wanted to share um, I know this is kind of a longer video but this is a very important topic and you guys have been wanting to know this for a while now so I'm glad I finally got this out so everyone thanks for watching please comment rate, subscribe like a boss if you have other questions or suggestions on future videos make sure to send me a message and I will be seeing you all very soon peace out